Uh, delighted with the three points, first and foremost, and, and another clean sheet. Uh, real tough place to go. Obviously, Arlesy find themselves towards the top end of the table um, on a real desert of a pitch was, was incredibly tough for us on the day. So, but what was really pleasing for me was when you look over the course of the, of the 90 minutes, they've only really had one chance um, late in, well, midway through the second half. But other than that, really, I felt really controlled. I thought our structure was very good. I thought we were, we were organised, big in both boxes from set pieces. Uh, and ultimately, it was a, a wonderful strike from Kyle um, off the Joe Sellers West header that, uh, that got us a, a much needed and, and I felt a much deserved three points on Saturday. So another win, another three points, another clean sheet, and it was uh, good to get us you know, that run of form going. Yeah, so uh, first and foremost, must congratulate Hadley uh, on, on the victory on Tuesday. It was a uh, it's never nice to lose. It's uh, I, I really like anybody. I think in, in management, um, losing is the worst feeling in the world when it comes to football. Uh, but I must give Hadley full credit. I thought for 55 minutes in the game prior to the goal, I never really felt we were in much danger. I thought Hadley had a lot of the ball. They circulated a lot of the ball, but a lot of it was in front of us, um, and we found ourselves one 0 at the break. And I think the credit to Hadley, the first goal they got, which from our perspective, I was really disappointed with because. We had enough bodies around him. Um, unfortunately, he then wriggled the lad, to be fair, full credit to him, into the box. Uh, and then we couldn't touch him and it, it was a good finish. Um, and I think the manner of the three goals that we conceded was, was really disappointing. The second one from a, a needless set piece. Um, and then the third one, obviously, the ricochet. But I have to give full credit to Hadley. I know what it's like when, when teams win. We've had it a lot to us this season where we win and it's all about, when you speak to opposition sometimes, it's all about the things they didn't do rather than sometimes crediting the opposition. But I felt Hadley were good, good value for the victory in the end. I think they went up a gear in the second half um, and certainly in the last half an hour, I felt that they could have probably extended their lead further. Uh, and I must congratulate them and give them full credit on, on, a, on a win. Um, and obviously a disappointment for us to, to finally lose that streak. Um, but I keep going back to it as disappointed as we are. If you'd said to me on November the 6th, when we last played New Salamis, that we would go uh, one defeat in 15, I'd have snapped your hand off. So, uh, bit of one to take, never nice to lose, um, but obviously we're back to work tonight to make sure we prepare right for uh, this Saturday against uh, New Salamis. Yeah, so going into the game at the moment, obviously we, we're missing jam, Jammers. Uh, unfortunately, he's got uh, a damaged foot from last Saturday. Um, we managed to patch up a couple to play on Tuesday night, uh, but as far as I'm aware tonight, uh, we'll obviously assess a couple from Tuesday's game, see where we're at, and uh, hopefully we're back to, to full strength as, as close to possible on Saturday. Uh, Jammers is obviously a big miss for us and, and a player that you know we, we definitely miss his influence. But you know our mantra here is very much one man's disappointment is another man's opportunity. Uh, and credit to Jammers, he was brilliant around the dressing room, brilliant around the lads on Tuesday. And we look forward to, to welcoming him back before the season end. Really tough game. Obviously they're top of the league for a reason. Um, I know Risborough got some games in hand on them, uh, but we were aware we played New Salamis at the start of our uh, wonderful run um, and we were aware of the challenges that, that we faced. They've obviously got you know, Asamoah up front who's a, a prolific goal scorer at the level along with Harrison Georgiou. So we are aware that they've got threats all over the pitch. They play a, a specific way, a, play, a way that's going to challenge our structure, challenge our shape, challenge the way that we're going to go about it. But like I say every single week we never go into a game ever, ever fearing defeat. We've got to go there, we've got to make sure that on the day you know, we're going to be in, a, in the best possible form. We can't afford to go there and be undercooked. Um, and we, we're expecting a really, really tough, tough game against them. And like we say tonight, we'll make sure we prepare as thoroughly as we can, go there, give a good account of ourselves. And you know, for our, from our perspective, to have lost on Tuesday, we're, we're eager to bounce back. And it just so happens it's against the team top of the league and, and probably one of the best sides in the division. So it'll be a good challenge for us again, another good test to see where we're at, one we're really looking forward to, uh, and hopefully get back to winning ways on Saturday afternoon.